settlement was expected for the Ripple vs. SEC case by November 15th, and as much as people expected it to happen, it fell through. We didn't get any news, we didn't get any announcements, the only thing that we got was a Fox News article and a broadcast which said the SEC and Ripple settlement was going to be expected. So this is what we got, but I actually just got tagged by one of my viewers in a tweet here, and this is what it says. It says, I have some insider info. This is by Crypto Hodl. Let's check. He had three followers, so I couldn't say it's 100% valid, but it says, I have some insider info, won't disclose anything, though expect that the Ripple XRP Salmon was delayed. Talks are resuming on November 20th. Now, this is a big deal because if this turns out to be a legitimate insider source that is a part of Ripple, this is some crucial information that we have here. And again, this is the tag that some, you know, the stockman tagged me. Please report on this. But very, very interesting things to look at. And to be completely honest with you guys, the proof shows that this is a really valid reason and a valid statement. In fact, Brad Garlinghouse also tweeted on the same night slash day that despite some headwinds, I'm immensely proud of the Ripple team who day in and day out focus on helping our customers move value around the world, whether remittance, individual payments, bulk funding, treasury managements, and more. On top of that, Mr. Brad Garlinghouse also went on and stated that, that Ripple has no debt and that they've never had any debt, including that they also have billions of dollars of cash. And that's not all, because as we go through all these things that I'm about to show you, it's only going to get crazier and crazier. On this day of November 16th, we actually have the Ripple Swell event. And as you guys can tell, this is the first day. So Sandy Young says, wrapped up an awesome day one at the Ripple Swell Global 2022. Such an honor to host an immense Ripple's sixth annual conference in London. And look who is there. So Linko tweeted, the Linko Director of Investment, Nick Barfo, kicked off day one of Ripple Swell 2022 in London by networking with respected thought leaders. Of course, look at this, guys. This is important. You have MasterCard, Amazon, PwC, Accenture, the Digital Doddle Project. This is huge, guys. This is a very big one. BIS Innovation Hub. I can't read this one exactly. You also have Ripple and DX technology. So we're talking about major companies here. These are not small companies. These are the leading financial institutions that are going to innovate the world. This is what we're looking at. These are the companies that we're looking for XRP implementation within. And of course, we are seeing that happen, but we do have to understand that they can only implement XRP after this Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. And to understand the fact that Ripple is in a position now where they feel like maybe a settlement isn't a terrible idea. And most importantly, the SEC also is in an even tighter position where they have to get a settlement complete. It does definitely make sense that the SEC, you know, there might have been some issues, maybe things that they didn't agree on, and now they're delaying it. They're going to speak further, like this tweet said. It said on the 20th that they're going to resume talking. So it does make a lot of sense. That's not all though, guys, because today is epic packed with content. Guys, this is a freaking shock. Elon Musk says that Ripple is going to lead in global payments. And of course, when we always mention Ripple, everybody has to understand that the Ripple net system requires XRP. If there is no XRP, there's no Ripple net system. So when Elon Musk comes out and says, Ripple is the global you know, payment processing system, it's going to rule the world. He's really talking about XRP. So let's go ahead and roll the clips and make you hear what he has to say. Ripple is going to dominate banking. Like it's already a done deal. And Fed, Bank of America, like literally every bank globally, they're just going to go live and it's all over. Forget Bitcoin. I'm telling you, Ripple is the winner. It's over. Ripple is going to dominate banking. Guys, you literally heard it from Elon Musk. Ignore Dogecoin, ignore Shiba Inu, ignore all of those cryptocurrencies, all these meme coins, because he just told you which cryptocurrency is going to be number one. He literally even specified, he said, not Bitcoin, most definitely not Bitcoin. And he said, Ripple is. And of course, like we spoke about earlier, XRP, Ripple are basically one. So when he gives you that in your face, guys, he tells you Ripple XRP is the one. Ripple XRP is the one. They've been in every bank. All they have to do is go live. It's a hint, guys. It's literally straight there. He's telling you right when the settlement happens, right when, you know, things are done, right when the lawsuit's over, 
expect XRP to take over and really be the number one leading cryptocurrency, even surpassing the market cap and surpassing Bitcoin as a whole. And before we go any further, I want to thank Metal Crypto. They've actually officially released the Ripple XRP with case, and it comes in gold and silver. They've also released a XRP coin with case as well. This one also has the XRP logo. Get yourself any of these Metal Cryptos, Bitcoin, Cardano, Shiba Inu, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and plenty of other coins. So once again, make sure you guys do check out MetalCrypto.com. Again, they've been highly supportive of the XRP community and have sided with Ripple XRP on the lawsuit. So again, let's show them love. I personally have bought already three of these XRP coins because they look absolutely sick and I'm planning to gift a bunch of my friends on Christmas and New Year. So again, guys, check them out, MetalCrypto.com and let's get back to the video. Going back to the settlement, another thing that really makes me believe that what that guy was saying is true is actually this right here. Brad Garlinghouse went ahead and actually spoke and he said that there's no scenario through that we are going to settle unless there's an absolutely certain about what is XRP on a go forward basis. So that is probably one of the biggest points that's been debated and that has kind of either broken the entire settlement talks or kept it together because I think Brad Gung has made it clear that they're not just looking for this lawsuit to be over with. They want to make sure that they cannot ever get sued again and that XRP is labeled as a cryptocurrency, not as a neutral thing that is undisclosed that they're not sure of. They want it to be straightforward, clear, XRP is a cryptocurrency. And if they're not given that, then they're going to continue and they're going to battle and they're going to fight it until the end, until the judge decides what it is or wasn't what it isn't. Because that way, they protect themselves indefinitely and on top of that it's a big win for ripple and xrp because now xrp is going to be the only cryptocurrency in the united states and across the world that is officially recognized as a cryptocurrency what we've heard is that even you know bitcoin is not decided to be a cryptocurrency they've kind of stated the sec has stated that they are neutral on bitcoin they're not really sure they're not 100 they wouldn't say it is a cryptocurrency they wouldn't say it's not um and so it's, it's a neutral stance where they haven't really said bitcoin is a cryptocurrency straightforward neither did they say um ethereum well they had said william hinman had but they retracted that ideology during the ripple versus sc lawsuit in stating that william hinman's opinion was that the Ethereum was not a security and Ethereum was a cryptocurrency, but that doesn't mean that the SEC believes that um, Ripple and uh, Ethereum are not cryptocurrencies or are not securities. They stated that whatever William Hinman said is his personal opinion. In fact, Gary Gensler, the SEC chairman of, of the SEC, went ahead and said that he believes that Ethereum is a security as well. So what we've heard is a lot of contradictory thoughts. There is no clear um, answer for what a cryptocurrency is until this lawsuit is done. Then we will find out that Ripple XRP is officially the one and only cryptocurrency that has full clarity and is undebated. Now what's crazy and even just adds to the cherry is that Library got offered a settlement proposal just today. So again, let's have a read. Library tweeted that the SEC specifically requested that we stop sharing with the public what it's like to be investigated by the SEC as part of their settlement proposal. So this entire thing guys might be done. Like Library, they lost, but maybe the SEC comes out and says, you know what, we're willing to settle with them and take, retract that loss, settle and agree on terms. Now, of course, I believe that if anything, library is going to take a big hit to what they want. I don't think they're going to get really any of their requirements just because they are already on the losing side. Basically, they've lost. They lost the fair notice defense, which automatically means that they basically lost. Is the lawsuit over though? No, which is why they can still offer a proposal and settle. So if this was done and the judge had officially declared, given a straightforward answer, then we would say there's no such a thing as settlement. You can't settle after the lawsuit's done and after the answer is given. But because the lawsuit is still going, it is basically done though, because they lost the fair notice defense, which was their only defense. They're basically done for. They lost, guaranteed. If the SEC were to continue, they would lose. Um, but the SEC maybe is going to tell them, listen, we are going to take, let's say, $200 million or $300 million, maybe more than what they normally would have got if the lawsuit were to end. And in exchange, we will let you guys, you know, deem library as a security but will allow you guys to proceed working and we won't shut you guys down or something of that sort again uh, but the fact that they're offering settlements guys is a very positive sign and to be honest it makes a lot of sense that the SEC is going to settle with ripple because ripple is on the winning hand guys in this case ripple is literally like the sec and the sec is like library where they're done the sec screwed ripples just out beating them in every possible way and it's only going to be a matter of time where they are forced into a settlement and even the sec knows that that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys do follow me on twitter at crypto geek news follow me on instagram as well subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts down below